And we're back. As you can tell, I didn't even do anything. Where I don't even know where I am. There I am. I didn't do anything, which is why I don't know where I am. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I did forget. I still need to go. Oh, so there was more I could have done up there. Okay. That's good to know. I mean, hey, at least I wasn't that stupid. I didn't actually mean to go up here. But I'm, I'm going to anyway. Ooh, I'm up here now. <laughs> I don't know why I'm up here, but I am. Can I go over here? I'm just gonna go right the fuck back down. Shimmy myself down this ladder. Walk into this moon cat. Um... You don't have enough for it yet, so you're gonna attack that, and then I'm gonna be able to kill it on Lita's turn. Ooh, sorry about that, I was sneezing. Which is why I muted my microphone. You're welcome, unless you have some weird, like, sneeze finish. <laughs> In which case, I'm sorry, I should've left the microphone on for you. That'd be a weird, like, okay, not to, like, oust anybody on, like, their fetishes, but that just seems like a weird fetish to have. Like, yeah, they're weirder, but, like, I don't know. Like, that'd be a very uncommon one. See, I will have to say, though, getting up to here, kind of weird. It's like, it, that path is not very, like, well... Like, okay, I will I will say this much. This this is not, this game does not feel at all, like, linear. Like, I have, like, free roam right now, which is fantastic. But that doesn't necessarily mean, like, that's a bad thing. Like, linear, I mean, I mean this is not a popular opinion, I don't think. But linear games aren't bad by any means. They just kind of keep your focus on, like, what you're doing. Don't get me wrong, I like open games, too. It's just, like, god damn, like, very hard. To, I mean, this is just, I'm probably just stupid, but it feels like it's very, like, hard to find out where to go. Granted, they have a map, and I could be using the map more. And now I am near the archery competition, and there's a swan. Ooh, I want this. Mainly because it's in a better chest than the other chests. In essence, that's a good thing, I'm pretty sure. One thing's for certain, it doesn't seem like it's a bad thing. Is there any reason why I'm in a cave? Ooh, what's up, lady? You look like a stork. Oh, you're the traveling person. No? Lonnie's flute. I think it's because a famous flutist used to live here until she was murdered? Anyway, need anything? <laughs> Better for both of those, good to know. A whip and a staff and these things. Medium armor, hmm. Ah. I feel like most of the time games like these they give you things like that. Like it won't budge. But I feel like normally they, you'll find them in chests, like buying items isn't necessary. I mean it is for some things, but like you will find stuff later on. Hey, it's a little kid, what are you doing And <gasps> Holy crap, it's a ghost! My mother's necklace, it's been gone for so long. A pendant with a moon and a sword. I sense that the apple or orchards, <laughs> I keep wanting to say orchids, but I can never leave this cave. I'll find it one day, mother. In other words, I'll find it for you. Hundred coins. Yeah, I probably can't open this either. Oh, I did not mean to do that again. And these are oh, they actually are doors. That's crazy. I was totally not expecting them to be doors. I was expecting them to be windows like normal. The window's in a cave, and now that I think about it, doesn't make too much sense. I've yet to see a single archery thing going on here. I 
Sure, I'll save. Oh, this is the main quest. Uh, yeah. You there, girl. God has helped you if you're elitic, Lakota. Um, kinda? Am I late? Yes, you're late. We were about to start without you. Come with me and take your place. You better be jogging beside me, young lady. Yes, sir. I'll go watch with the others. Good luck, Lita. Okay, thanks. I'm not jogging beside you, I'm walking slowly behind you. So take that, dude. <laughs> go stand with the other contestants, young lady. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the 23rd annual archery contest. We have some new faces this year, and returning competitors, including the reigning champion for the last six years, Terim Visser. Visor? Visor. I'm hitting the wrong button. Also from last year, we have Sophie Aminia and Rian Inala. And our new challengers are Alita Lakota and Farrell Linalo. The first contestants will be Sophie, Farrell, and Terum. Take your places. This is the first round, and you'll each get just one shot. The contestant who hits closest to the center of the target wins. Archers ready? Judges? Ready? I like how they're just downrange. Like, oh yeah, we're just if we get hit by an arrow, you win. Archers, loose your arrows on my marks. Loose! Uh, middle one's a perfect hit, it looks like. Tarim Vizier has won this round. Visor. Visor, I'm gonna do Visor. Visor just looks better. Uh, Sarah, he's- Oh, you're gonna be part of my 18. Abyss, this is unbearable. Armony, how did I let you talk me into this? How long are we expected to sit here? Long enough to make a show of it, I suppose. Simeon the Elder insisted we spectate the competition. I admit, if this is his idea of defending his village, I find myself skeptical. These people are not soldiers. They're barely even archers, aside from this Terum person. If vampires do decide to attack in earnest, these people will all be dead or turned before they even realize what happened. Yeah, no, those are my teams, so I'm gonna obviously do great, great, crazy great. Lita's up next! I'm so excited. I bet she shoots one of the judges. If she does, you better start thinking of ways to bail her out of Castle Latana's dungeon. Quiet now. The second round is starting. Terum has won the first round. Newcomer Lita Lakota will face off against last year's runner-up, Rian Inala. Take your places, archers. What's up, dude? That said it was gonna. Or, no, you guess you wished me on, because I don't. I don't hate you. Archers ready? Judges ready? Knob. Archers, loose arrows on my marks. Loose. And I shot something, which means I win. Yeah, no, that's dead center. That's a win. Good, good job, me. Actually, it looks a little closer. Little Lakota has won this round. Congratulations. That girl is rather skilled herself. I suppose that brings our count of competent defenders up to two. You'll excuse me if I don't feel particularly reassured, I hope. I sense something strange about that girl. You sense something strange about everything. Dare I ask, in what capacity? I cannot tell for certain. It is, however, something I have not felt in a very long time. Is it love? You're not falling in love with her, are you? <laughs> Very clever. <laughs> I mean, I thought so. Uh, well done, Lita. But do not let yourself get overconfident. Stay focused. Okay, Papa. I hope he's not still mad. Lita has advanced to the third round to face the defending champion, Tarim Visor. Visor. God damn it. All right, Lita and Tarim, take your places. You've got a good eye, kid. Oh, thank you. And you've got some excellent control of your bow for someone your size, too. Uh, let's just get on with this. The second round's rules are different. Contestants will take turns, and each will be given three arrows. The best shot of the three will be that one's, the one that's scored. The archer with the arrow closest to the center of the target will win the contest. Tarim appears to be ready, and so do our judges. So loose on my mark, Tarim. Loose! It's one. Tarim is at the direct center of the target. An excellent first shot, but hardly unexpected as the reigning champion. 
Karen has two shots remaining. Ah, I don't think that would be necessary. That should be do it. Wow, what a cocky fuck. Astounding! Terum has voluntarily forfeited his second and third shots. Alita will need to make two perfect shots to win. It'll be tough to beat that, girl. You've done well so far, though. Be proud regardless of the outcome. Thanks. Uh, that was the best shot I've ever seen. And I have to make two of them? How in the world am I supposed to do that? Easy. Well, here goes nothing. Alright, Lita. Shoot when I tell you. Loose! Split. No. That's not... That's not a good shot. I'm gonna go to go and say that's not a good shot. Lita's shot is seven inches off the mark. Then they're gonna discuss it and be like, she sucks. Oh no, she was so close! If she practiced this morning instead of sleeping off that adventure of hers, perhaps she'd have a chance. Ugh, that was awful. If this next one isn't perfect, I can't win. Alright, Lita. Get ready for your second shot, and loose your arrow on my mark. Loose! I was trying to predict it that time, too. Split. Not perfect. Why? How would I... Lita's shot is again a bit off. How is it supposed to be perfect if they don't remove the guy's arrow? Stay calm, Lita. Clear your mind. Be one with your bow. I can't win, though. Well, at least maybe I can get a tie. But how can I hit the center if his arrow is already there? Exactly. This is your last shot. Shoot on my mark. I'm gonna split it. It's gonna be some Robin Hood shit. I have to concentrate this time. Elven concentration. Use that ring. Glow blue. She's gonna glow blue. Loose! She's not going blue. Oh! Split the board in half. Poof! Yeah, yeah. That's a tie. That is a tie. Incredible! Lita's arrow split turns in half! <laughs> She's Robin Hood! In all my years conducting this contest, I've never seen such a thing, except for in fairy tales. The judges looked astonished. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion! Wow. Did... did I really do that? By the goddess girl. I've never seen anything like that. It's as though the spirit of RFL itself was channeled through your bow. What? The abyss? What did I just witness? I see now. That girl has an elven artifact of power. That is what I sensed. Please tell me you're joking. No, he's right. By the goddess she does. Even I felt that. You men and your sensing things. Well now what? I had planned on taking a nice hot bath back home after this. We can't have some little teenager running around with something like that. The artifact is extremely dangerous. We'll speak with Simeon the Elder again. And the girl's father as well. I'm not sure strangers approaching her directly will be the most tactful option. I agree. They're here at the competition. We'll speak to them before they leave. What was that girl's name? Lita? I don't have a good feeling about this. Why? You received 500 or 400 coins in prize money and a fine bow plus one. It seems I may owe you an apology, perhaps to the both of you. That was an amazing display, Lita. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, Papa. And I owe you an apology, too. I'm sorry I yelled at you, and I'm sorry I made you worry. Apology accepted. I think I do understand where your wanderlust comes from. I want you to be more responsible in your behavior, but I cannot blame you for feeling trapped in Aloria. Anyway, I've decided to take you hunting. Really? Really. I'll head up to the hunting range. Meet me there when you're ready. Ah, good morning, Simeon. And to you, Edmund. Your daughter's performance was quite, a, uh, yeah. quite impressive. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. I am sure we can speak for all of Loria when I express my pride in her. That's very kind of you, Elder. Even her mother hadn't expected anything quite like that. Indeed, I was wondering if I might have a word with you about Lita, actually. What has she done this time? Well, it's this business with Arger. Arger? Lita was very brave to face him herself, but she broke into someone's home in order to do it, and got herself into a very dangerous situation. Yes, I'm sorry for that. She means well, but I can't... I cannot seem to get that girl to understand responsibility. Pardon me. I was wondering if I might have a word with you about Lita as well. Alright, I get to go hunting after all. This day isn't turning out so bad, huh? Yeah, it's not. 
Uh, Lita, did you notice anything kind of weird when you shot that last arrow? Well, I did, but I felt weird all day. Figured it was just the heat of the moment, you know? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Nobody else noticed anything strange, I guess. Come on, let's go find your dad. I'll help. Yeah, to the hunting range. Of course, you're part of my party. Why would you not help? So this is just set up all like everybody just left. They're like, eh, fuck it, let's just leave some bows and some arrows and a moving weird ass statue. I'll oh, is it a bird on the statue? It's a fucking bird. That's less creepy. I was hoping it would be like coming to life or something. Well, I'm 100 percent gonna swim down here, that's for sure. Never mind. I will not. What about down here? Never mind, I will not again. What about walking down here? Never mind, I will not do that either. Um, um, can I, I just want that. Okay, well, fine then. <laughs> oh, 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 damn. <laughs> I thought I found a loophole too. Can I jump over that? No, that's a fence. Well, my explanation was, or my exploration was for not. Oh, sweet. There's something. Yeah, this is what I wanted. Light armor plus two. I need to equip those things. Pretty sure. Ooh, this is a teleport pistol. Which just reminds me, I <laughs> I missed another teleport pistol in there somewhere. So you I have a bow, a fine bow, plus one, and I have light armor, plus two, and uh, the headband's worse, yeah. And then, let's see, I don't think I have anything for you. That gives me less defense, but better attack and agility. Um, is ten defense worth it? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say I kinda want damage, at least. <laughs> Do a little save. Although this game is very good on the whole um, making me save part. Let's go onto the map, because I can teleport actually. Though, do I want to tele... Hmm. Shift. Shift is a button, right? Oh yeah. I don't remember... Where do I think I even know how? How do I? Because I can teleport from the map. How do I? <laughs> well, I'm gonna figure this out, one way or the other. <laughs> Information. I wish I could do a gamepad. Do this one more time. I don't have any, um... I don't have any, like... Because I don't have my mouse on that screen. Shift. Cave of Life in the Holy Land. So the Orlean Temple is a place I'm going to have to go to at some point. How did I get the... Well, anyway. <laughs> I'm going to figure that out. Um, but that'll be it for this video. Um guys enjoyed it let me know I'm not gonna lie I'm a little bit tired um, but yeah <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video bye bye